Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Okay, today I've got a uh, PAL Mini DV tape job and customers had a problem with playback. Um, and this is something I see every now and then. So, plays fine. And then it goes through and then it starts to pixelate. And this is very common with mini DV, it could be multiple issues. First is the head clean, that's the big one. Uh, the other thing is, I'll show you in a second, but look, the audio goes, pixelation, and then it just goes to crap from there. So like, you can start to see like all this blockiness. And it's clear, but like the audio disappears, and then all these like, the audio just goes, bit, uh, what, uh, and then it just disappears. So what you do is you, you know, clean the head with a head cleaner, see if that improves, put another the tape in from a different situation. If it plays fine on that other tape, then, you know, it's the tape. Um, but you second guess it as well with running it through another player. Now I did and I got exactly the same identical issue. And you can hear on the tape, it makes a noise. I'm just gonna rewind it past a certain point. Okay. I've got Birdie and Winston in here today. What are you doing boys? All right, so. So you can kind of see where it starts to pixelate, but the point is here, hold on. It'll start to go, here we go, listen. And it'll start to, you hear that? So when you take that out, you'll see that the tape Actually, I had it before, but the tape was, if I rewind it, just a fraction. Hold on. You can hear it there. Yeah, you can see the tape has got, it's like, scratches and crinkles and crap on it that's coming from like moisture um i don't know i don't know exactly where these have been stored but i'm going to fast forward i hate running these tapes when they've got issues on players that are clean i use Players or camcorders, sorry, with blown heads as fast forward and rewinders. Listen to it. If I rewind and the counter's not going either, you can. Yeah, there it is. So, my suspicion is with this tape is something happened with the camera where there was defective tape or whatever and then the person took it out of the camera because the camera just rejected it or chewed it up and then, oh here we go we're back again but look it's pixelating now it could be this because this is just a player uh a my one of my fast forward rewinders um or i got a problem with the tape or the camcorder back in the day and the customer did no it's clean on there let's pull up the audio that you always have to listen to the audio as well see the audio is good Kind of dark as well. Yeah, so they've got the night shot on, so there is a bit of a frame rate difference. But that was the issue there. So 
that just needs to run its course through the tape. So, um, you know, going into my usual spiel here, you've got to be checking all this stuff. If you're hiring somebody to do this, you got to see YouTube content showing that they're doing all these different steps and making sure they're not just going, oh, there's a problem, bye. And then you've only got a minute and 38 seconds as opposed to 62, 63 minutes on an SP uh, mini DV tape or an hour and 34 if it's LP. Um, but you've got to be stopping, inspecting, fixing. I mean, I've got a PAL job. This is all PAL from uh, the UK or Europe. And um, I've got two PAL decks and they have just uh, gone down because I haven't ran them in a while. So I've gotten them fixed at Tim next door, Arizona Video Electronics. Um, I don't know whether the tape screwed up the decks, but I'm going to find out. It's going to cost me whatever it's going to cost me. But that's the thing. Whenever I put these tapes in, these players, there's a problem. I, I got to pull it like this one here. I got to pull in a minute. I got a stack of them over here. I got to pull, I've pulled with issues. I got to fix and all that kind of stuff. So, with everyone's stuff just being old and not, I don't know where it's been. Environmental issues, heat, moisture, humidity, damp, uh, dampness, this all contributes to the deteriorating situation. And this could have happened in the 1990s, 1980s with a faulty camera. Cheap tapes, um, defective tapes with mini DV. There are defective tapes out there, you know, small percentage, but um, and uh, people that have not cared for their stuff are clogging the video heads. So, this is why I have a lot of questions on the quote form, and also when people call me, I'm going through all these questions, and they're like, Oh god, well, this is time consuming, you know. Yeah, if no one's asking all these questions and they're just giving you a price sight unseen, blindfolded. You're going to get junk back. It's a giant red flag. So um, today is problem day. I set aside a day of the week where I'm a bit more chill. Don't have, you know, craziness going on. Got the pups uh, in. And then I just start to kind of, you know, take VCRs apart, tune things, clean things, just general maintenance. So, um, but yeah, all of this stuff needs to be, carefully monitored that's why there's so many problems in this industry with video transfer companies and people getting shite back or nothing back and still getting charged the full price is because they're just told like hey put it in if it doesn't play eject it the parts um repair people um even you know the used stuff on ebay and everything has been passed down from like 20 different people transferring their stuff over the last 20 years and it's just all just everything online is just junk. Um, so, you know, you've got to be fixing your own stuff, understanding the problems, all that kind of stuff. So if you are doing this yourself, you're going to need three to five players um, to second guess if when the if and when problems pop up, you can put it in another player and go, oh, it's acting the same way. It's the tape, but it's two players. Let me try three. That's where you need three, really. Um, and hopefully all three work. I don't know. Um, but it is time consuming work with this day and age. This stuff was not made to last forever. I get unicorn jobs in where they just perform perfectly and that's that. But, um, I do get jobs in where they're an absolute pain in the ass, um, which is becoming more and more and more the story. Um, so if you're looking for a company, you've got to check Google maps for reviews, not google.com, but Google maps see ridiculously high numbers of reviews and a 5.0 thereabouts um, and uh, hopefully a YouTube channel um, and uh, making sure it's all being done correctly. Time is being spent and not just thrown in the towel. Um, so anyway, uh, all the best. Cheers.